Hello, Devon Wolf from Mystical Drumming, mysticaldrumming.com. I want to show you a demonstration for you to learn how to do rolls faster. We generally think of a roll as and then a buzz roll as more of a press. So a buzz roll would be more in a military style. There's kind of a hybrid that I teach in between the two. It's not a buzz roll, and it's kind of not a standard roll. It gets tremendous speed in a roll going, and you can do this, so I'd like you to do along with me. So please watch the previous videos that we have explaining how to do rolls. Um, and other elements, basic elements, so you have a better understanding of how, to, how we're gonna do this and approach this. Okay, so I hope the camera angle is working. Uh, I have to put it on an angle that you can really see what's going on in my hands. Unfortunately, you cannot see my feet. Um, so I'm going to be also doing buzz or uh, double bouncing or very fast patterns with my feet. So uh, this is the double bass. Okay. Um, we yet don't have the technology available um, at this um, little studio I teach from. Uh, we need to make more money, so uh, yeah, once you guys buy our video series such more, we will invest and uh, get better stuff to you so we can direct link sound and get more camera angles and things like that, but uh, right now we're in a startup operation. Okay, yeah, so we apologize. Okay, so the idea is always with this system is to stay very loose, be loose, especially when you go faster. Um, going faster does not mean playing harder, it means playing smarter. So don't think harder, think smarter. That's like a really key thing, okay? Um, and in life, think about it generally, you know, it's, um, we should work smarter, not harder, play harder, so it's like smarter, not harder, that kind of thing, yeah. Okay, so, uh, let's get into this a little bit. So, normally, with the bass drum, we think about, and I know you can't see my feet, but I need to explain this, okay? So, we bury, we bury the pedal into the beater. The beater, should say beater, well, bury the pedal, bury the beater into the head of the bass drum. The bass drum is designed just like a tom. To bounce. So the beat, beater head of the bass drum. My beater head of the bass drum is designed to bounce off of the bass drum. There's also springs, right? You know how this pedal works, usually springs or some type of mechanism that is making the pedal recoil, right? So your foot should be not using my hand as a foot, okay? And my hand's also deformed, so you have to work with me on this. Your foot being flat against the pedal is going to allow very little flexibility. So your foot should be, your heel should be off. There are heel toe methods and slide methods and all that, and that's fine. I don't teach them. I'm not against anything. I'm not against them. It's just I find this to work better. Just put the, your toes on the pedal, and where your toes meet your foot, kind of like that pad section of your foot, to press there and um, your leg, if you sit straight and kind of just lean forward a little bit but not put any tension in your body. You press with your toes and that kind of like ball of your foot type section, not the back, and flick it. It's a flick. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm flicking, flicking. Okay, so you had a pattern going that required a little bit of bass drum speed. We have to have a boom, 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 that kind of thing. Or faster, right? Uh, you want to get the kind of bouncing going, right? That's one foot. Um, that's just flicking with the top of my foot. I'm not, my foot is not flat on the pedal. I'm also not hyperextended where it's all toes. I'm just touching where my toes and where my, if my toes meet my foot, they're on that pedal there. So the foot is in a nice, let's say, almost 45 degree angle. 
and you get this kind of bouncing, okay? That's what you want, bouncing and rebound, okay? So you put your like that. Okay, so that being said, um, work on that. It'll help you. I'll, I'll make more videos and I'll drop the video down so you can see my feet as well until we get better equipment, okay? So but for now, we got to work with us, okay? Um, with your rolls, okay? Drop your arms, drop your shoulders, make sure your body is straight, erect, okay? And it's bouncing, okay? Your hand, fulcrum, fingertips here, and you're really not just allowing the bounce, now that you can see of this, you're flicking with your fingertips. So it's... Nice and easy flowing, okay? Um, okay, so we start combining the bass drum and the uh, snare drum together. Okay, so let's start doing a little more speed and doing them together in some kind of pattern, whatever comes to me, okay? Okay, so we're essentially keeping synchronization between the two, syncopation and um, making them communicate together the bass and the hands while we're rolling okay so um i hope that you can hear this uh properly can we go a little bit faster now okay. speed there, elevating only a little bit, so you get a little more smarter playing, which does break a lot of things if you watch other videos, about not lifting. However, when you're getting to the point where you got to get a lot more speed in your rolls, you're probably going to have to come up and do that, as I have to, because to get some more kind of like uh, violence in a loose way. Remember, like martial arts, boxing, punching, okay? It's it's loose, loose snapping. And that's what this is, combination of martial arts with drumming and using our minds. Okay, so let's go even faster, keeping it loose, right? downward but still very loose and still flicking with the fingers and we saw what's sort of happening is a little more arm motion but at that speed there's it's necessary okay um so let's let it rip one more time try to go a little bit faster i just kind of like watch what i'm doing and try to replicate it and uh when i play these videos i encourage you to play along with me um, if you can't go as fast as I'm going or something, don't worry about that. This, this is an ego-free channel, ego-free drum system, okay? And if you're going faster or better, great. I mean, bravo, okay? Again, ego-free on both ends, okay? Um, okay, so let's go a little faster. And if you need to, you can, by the way, these are uh, what we sell at mysticaldrumming.com is a drum program. Please don't uh, burn that or make copies or anything. However, this, uh, these uh, YouTube videos, uh, you're welcome to share them and uh, burn them. So if you want to take them with you, listen to them in your car, or, or make videos of them and uh, take them to your drum kit, whatever, it's totally fine. So good. Grab permission. There you go. Okay. So we'll pass them. Okay. speed going on both feet and with the hands 
okay? Because we're, we're allowing, we're flicking, we're not forcing. That should be done with everything. You're doing a rough. It's kind of like a waving motion across the drums, which I'll get into in future videos, okay? Uh, practice, practice doing this. It'll help you and you have the ability to really kind of speed roll on your feet as well. It'll, it'll bring a whole dimension to your playing. So, uh, yeah, work on that and uh, keep watching, okay? Uh, hit the like button. If you want to join, subscribe. And as well, you go to our webpage, join our mailing list, it's free. And a lot of cool stuff coming out, okay? So, 